Quiet numbskulls, I'm broadcasting. Ben Sorensen's Real Country Interviews, bringing you the stars of country. It's Ben Sorensen here, and this is a new type of real country, and I'm very, very proud to have a new friend along for the ride. Of course, you can already see her on the screen. It's Elise Simmons. G'day, how you doing? Hello, how are you, Ben? Mighty, mighty fine. Now, where are you sitting? This is going to be the new first question. <laughs> I'm sitting in my bedroom with my lovely backdrop of my, my guitar that my sister made me. She made you a guitar. She smashed a guitar, yes, and she made ah. this artwork for me. So when you smash a guitar, it's not butchering music, it's actually creating art. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now you've been a busy, busy girl. Now, it was in 2005, I think it was, uh, that you won Telstra Road to Tamworth. And uh, what a great experience that must have been for you. But you're actually going one better than that. You were taking some time out to make a fantastic album. And it took you how many years, was it? Five years, almost. But um, I definitely wasn't standing still. I was touring and, and songwriting and recording and, and trying to make an album that I'd be really proud of. And are you proud of it? I really, really am. I, I hope that I can still say that in 10 years. But at this point where I'm sitting today in my bedroom, I'm very, very proud of the album. Okay, so in 10 years' time, you hope for, it to be, for you to be just as proud so, I mean, you don't want to have one of those Gina Jeffries moments where you look back and go, oh, my God, I wore my hair like that. <laughs> well, you never know. I might be going, why did I wear my hair like that too in 10 years? Or as if I'd be that colour. <laughs> exactly. Why, why am I that colour? I'm really um, a, a redhead or something, you know? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So the recording process must have been really exciting for you because you co-wrote with some awesome people. Rob McCormack, who's also your producer, he's a pretty cool fella. And uh, also Golden Guitar winner, Mr. Graham Connors. So what um, was that like? Yes. yes. It was... It was amazing. It was really was. I've been really lucky and blessed to have worked with some of the most incredible people in this industry. And, um, and I guess I still pinch myself every day about that stuff. But I'm really, really happy with the songs that I wrote with those great writers. Now, do you have a diary? Do you keep a diary? I have a file of facts. So I, I've got one better than Old a diary. Old school. <laughs> Old school. <laughs> And, uh, and do you, you diarise your emotions and feelings and everything? Because that's really what Pieces of Me, the album, feels like. It feels like we're actually having a bit of a sneak peek through your own diary. It's exactly what it is. It really is. Um, Pieces of Me is a really personal album. It's something that um, is really close to me. Uh, I'm a really honest, open person, and it, my album tells that story. It's, I'm giving away a lot of secrets in there, and a lot of people have kind of said to me, why have you been so brave? You know, why you're so brave being so honest? And um, I guess music is about all of that to me. It's not about being someone else and writing songs that you know are going to win your golden guitar or whatever. It's about writing a song that is you completely and this album is completely representative of me, whether people like it or not. How beautiful is that? Now, did you find that you were a little bit uncomfortable with exposing that much of yourself on an album? You think, was there a, a certain level of anxiety uh, before you actually released all those songs going, oh, maybe I should have toned that down a bit. Yeah, definitely. I think there are, there's a huge level of anxiety just being in this industry. <laughs> but um, it's, you know, I, I'm really happy that I did it. I'm really happy that I was really honest because if I wasn't really honest and didn't write those songs and bear my soul, then it wouldn't be me. And, um, and I'd, I just really don't believe that, that music is, is about being dishonest. And what's, what's on your iPod before we talk about uh, the single? What's on your iPod? There's a bit of, a bit of everything on my iPod. There's lots of country music. I'm listening. I'm really loving Whitney Duncan at the moment. Ah. So I've got an album on there. I have every single thing that John Farnham has ever recorded because he's my favourite singer on the planet. A bit of everything, really. Now, 
I have some issues with your single, When I Say Too Much. I've chatted to you for a bit and I don't think it's right. It's not accurate. You don't say too much. You say the perfect <laughs> amount. Really? Yes, really. So tell me about the song. All right. Well, it is a song about those times in our lives where we do say too much and, and it happens a real lot for me. And sometimes I think it can be a really bad thing. And most, most often it is a really bad thing for me. But um, it can be a really good thing too. It can be one of those times where you just get that just enough courage to say something to someone. Like, I love you, Ben. I love you too, Elise. <laughs> Thank you. There was a bit of delay. Uh, yeah, that's, was yeah, that's the internet. <laughs> 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 But you're right, you, you, there are those times in your life where you, you say something and you're nervous about it and you've gone, oh, it's out there now, I can't change it. Yes, exactly. So hopefully this song will give people a whole heap more courage to go out I, there and do it more. Courage is a good thing. Yes, especially when you're doing your first video Skype call that's going out to the world. Thank you so <laughs> much, Elise Simmons. We are going to play... Uh, your wonderful video clip, When I Say Too Much, from your long-awaited, awesome album, Pieces of Me. Uh, you can check it all out on Elisa's website and also this video on mine, www.realcountrymix.com.au. Let's stop yakking and get to the video. Thank you so much for having me. See ya. Bye.
let go of my secrets That's when I said I love you Another Ben Sorensen Real Country interview. Hear this interview and many more at www.realcountrymix.com.